Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins, and this channel's all about live loop and upload three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to play drums on an acoustic guitar. Welcome to episode three of Loop Pedal Basics. If you haven't already, check out episode two over here where I taught you how to record an acoustic guitar with your loop pedal, but more specifically, the exact chords we're gonna be performing our drum track to in today's lesson. Now we're gonna be rocking the exact same setup as last week, so all you're gonna need is an acoustic guitar and your loop pedal. So we've got our acoustic guitar looped from last week, so we're gonna jump straight to recording our drum Part. Now the way you get drum sounds out of the acoustic guitar is as follows. Now the way I do it is to get my kick drum, I just hit with the palm of my hand at the bridge of the acoustic guitar. I think it gives it a real strong thud. Sounds really big and has quite a bit of impact. Now there are other ways to go about it if you have maybe a bigger bodied guitar with maybe slightly better pickup in with more definition. You can hit like the actual body of the guitar with like more of a fist action. Uh, that works, but my guitar is a little bit too small for that to have as much of an impact. So once you've kind of perfected the kick drum, we're then gonna look at doing the snare. So with the snare, I usually just strike the strings with my right hand. So that's how I do my snare. But there are other ways to do it. Now you can do it with your thumb. You can do like a side stick effect on a snare. So like a drummer would, they will always strike the snare full on. They do like a little click with the side stick. So you can emulate that with your thumb by hitting the bass string, the E string with your thumb. And you get that sort of clack. That works quite cool and I've used that when I used to primarily do my drumming on the guitar. Now that's the basics of drumming with the guitar. There's other ways you can do hi-hats. You can palm mute sort of at the 12th fret here and, and just almost like pick the guitar pattern to get a bit of a hi-hat feel if you wanna add extra rhythmic elements to the loop. But I personally don't really use that that too often because I think it sounds a little bit messy. I primarily do kick drum, snare and maybe add in the odd sort of like fill like that. So that's just literally taking my thumb and striking upwards and then flicking with my fingers like that. Pretty cool. I think it sounds awesome, especially when you add it into a beat. So the way I like to layer my drums is like this. So I have the Boss RC300. So I have a couple of tracks to play about with. If you've got a two track loop pedal, this can still work. You can put down one beat over the acoustic guitar part and then the other beat on the second track. And if you've got a single track loop pedal, just, just pick whatever beat you prefer. So we're gonna start the loop track off. So these are the chords from last week. Now, the first loop I always do is a four to the floor sort of kick drum, just so I can use that kind of in the verses to give them a bit more of a push if needed. So like this. And I like to finish it off with a double kick hit, so like a, just so if the chords aren't playing, I know which part of the loop I'm in. So if I have all the other loops muted and just this one soloed like this, I know which part of the loop I'm in. So we're just about to go around to the start again. So obviously with the start of the loop. So the second loop I like to do with the drums is kind of a kick snare kind of pattern. And I like to layer the two together. Now. I'm quite gutted because I use these drum pads for some of my drumming on my main rig and I can't layer these sounds as much as I'd like. They have phasing issues and they sound a little bit rubbish, to be honest, when you try and layer them. So with the acoustic guitar, that's not an issue. I like to layer this pattern over the top of my four to the floor to introduce in choruses and things like that and it, and it makes it just sound a little bit bigger and an extra push. So the pattern we're gonna do is it's kind of just like a kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. But what you'll notice is with that being layered over the force of the floor, we'll kind of get like a kick, snare, double kick sort of feel. 
without having to do the double kick and then our normal kicks sound a little bit bigger because they're layered. So let's try that out. So you can hear the kick kind of is like just a little bit more groovy. So that's kind of the basics of how to do drum beats on your acoustic guitar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. My channel's all about live loop and upload live loop tutorials, live loop performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you wanna learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.